Hey guys, Keon X here. So a friend of mine asked me to upload a video of how I edit my photos. So I'm just gonna run through how I go from a session like this to a photo like this. Now, everybody's styles are different. I tend to shoot really dark and moody and with a lot of contrast in my photos. And you'll see that while I'm editing this photo. So let's take a look at how I get to my final image. Now, as you may or may not have seen in that clip, I did shoot this particular session out of my home. I do try to keep my sessions light um, and we're having fun and I'm talking and I'm instructing and I'm making sure that any model or any client that I'm working with doesn't have to think too much. I'm there to post them, I'm there to take the photos and I just want them to have great photos at the end. So once I'm done with my shoot, take my camera, I take my memory card, place it into my computer. I do a call session and basically what that is, is after I'm done with my shoot, I go through every single one of my photos and I pick the best photos out of those. And as you can see on this screen, there are some that I still have duplicates of, but I'll be going in and doing another session where I pick the best of those and the ones that I want in the final album. So as you can see here, this is a session again that I shot. Um, it's actually an outfit uh, outfit session. One thing that I'll do if I have two similar photos that I like, I'll look at them. I do want to take this one here and then I'll go into the develop tab, which is, which is part of Lightroom. From here, I actually do a lot of work with presets. I know a lot of people don't like presets, but I, I use presets a lot. It helps me turn around my photos a lot faster than some other photographers. When I'm doing a session, after the session is done, the client will take about an hour break and go get food or just relax and bask in their glow. And after about an hour, I'm gonna be done with that first round of edits. So to help out with that process, I will use presets. So one of the presets that I use in my apartment is this preset here. This is very dark and very moody. This is actually too dark, even for my taste. So what I will use is this tool right here. This is my Loop Deck Plus. This helps me edit without having to use my mouse and keyboard so much, and it actually helps me speed up, speed up my edit. For this photo, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the exposure a lot, uh, just so I can see the photo. After that, I'll make sure that the photo is um, upright as far as the levels go. I don't want you to look too skewed or feel like you're falling off the screen. And I've actually fine-tuned this preset so that it works really well before I actually have to adjust anything. So I won't be adjusting too much, but I'll go through some of my settings on, on the things I like. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna increase some of the highlights a little bit. Some of the shadows can go. The clarity, I need to increase just a bit. And then I think it's a little too orange for me. See, what this photo is really focusing on is her midsection. Um, and I'm, what I'm showing off are these high-waisted bottoms here that she has on. So I'll go ahead and play around with a lot of settings. Once I have my preset though, I'm just fine-tuning things. Essentially, this right here, I like it. This is good enough for me to be a final photo, and it fits my theme of being super dark and super moody, um, still highlighting the model or the client. Uh, we've got a lot of detail and sharpness. For my sharpness settings, I have my sharpness boosted up a huge amount just because I want everything to be tack sharp, but I also have my masking. If you don't change your masking, everything in the photo gets adjusted. As you increase your masking, we're starting to see what exactly is being adjusted. I usually keep my masking at around 70 due to whatever I shoot in camera. I'm aiming at exactly what I want to be focused on. And so with my masking around 70, we're keeping her clothes and her tattoos super sharp. And I love that. After a quick session in Lightroom, I export the photo. My export settings are keeping the photo file size small, but details still there. From Lightroom, I bring up Photoshop and I'll bring up that particular picture or in cases of an actual client I'll be bringing up their album and for an album it's actually a lot quicker when I use it in Photoshop all of what I use in Photoshop is to smooth out the skin just a bit I have an action for that so all I really need to do is press play on my action and then the action goes it's done already as soon as you saw that 
and I'm done. This is the final photo. Now, if I have a whole album to go, I can press that action on the whole album and it takes seconds to minutes, depending on how many photos I have. And that's it. That's how I edit my photos. That's the amount of work I do. I don't do any type of shapening. I'm not gonna slim your body. I am not going to you know, erase any stretch marks or anything permanent. For my photos, they are going to be true to life. They're just going to be a lot darker as far as the color goes for the most part, unless I'm shooting something that's not boudoir, such as fashion. I tend to shoot without a lot of contrast, but still colorful and still bright. But boudoir, it's going to be dark and moody, and I'm not going to change a lot of you. I'm just going to change a lot of the light. And that's it, guys. If you have any questions about my business or how I shoot or anything else, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you next week. Peace.